Chapter 14 Series Resistance The objectives of this chapter are to design an analog computer using an RLC circuit and to demonstrate series resonance. Resonance takes place in a series RLC circuit at the frequency when the capacitive and inductive reactants exactly cancel and the system becomes purely resistive. This is a very special frequency is calculated by setting the capacitive reactants equal to the inductive reactants and solving for the resonant frequency FR. At resonance all of the stored reactive energy flows back and forth between the electric field of the capacitor and the magnetic field of the inductor. Our task in this chapter is to construct an analog computer, one that uses an LCR series circuit to simulate the mass spring shock absorber combination of an automotive suspension system. Such a system exhibits a damped resonant response when hit with a force. When hit with a repetitive force field, energy buildup becomes a significant factor. When designing our system, the major problem will be to choose the correct level of dampening. Under damping will cause unwanted oscillations. However, over damping will make the response too stiff. When damping is just right, the system will absorb the shock, but with minimal bouncing. The figure below shows the direct correspondence between a series resonance circuit and an automotive suspension system. The inductor simulates the wheel mass, the capacitor simulates the spring, and the resistor simulates the shock absorber. We choose a series resonance circuit because all three components of a real suspension system, mass, spring, and shocks, are connected at the same point, the wheel hub, and therefore have the same velocity. Since velocity is analogous to current, a series circuit is required. This table compares a real mechanical system and its electronic equivalent. Because D distance is analogous to charge Q and capacitive voltage VC is proportional to charge, the wheel position is conveniently plotted by tapping off the capacitive voltage. The wheel velocity is obtained from the circuit current. As designers, our task is to choose appropriate values of R, L, and C. The calculations are as follows. A 4,000 pound car compresses its spring approximately 0.5 feet, therefore Ks equals 1,000 pounds divided by 0.5 feet, which equals 2,000 pounds per foot. Since m equals 2 slugs, the ratio of Ks divided by m is 2,000 divided by 2 equaling 1,000. Therefore, the ratio of 1 divided by c to l is also approximately 1,000. We choose c of 100 microfarads and an L of 9,500 millihenries. Because R is our design va variable, we choose a low value to begin with, one that represents a very worn set of shocks, such as 10 ohms. Based on these calculated values, for L and C, the resonant frequency of our system is calculated to be 5 Hz. The first circuit of this chapter is the analog computer with the automotive system. We already have it set up and we're just going to run it to 3 seconds with a step size of 3 microseconds. It's an R, L, and C in series with a pulse voltage source. So we run the circuit and we'll be able to see the dampening effects that the shocks have. We select our nodes, V surface versus V distance, and you can see the change that it 
occurs when the shocks are worn and the wheel bounces excessively, judging by the red line in comparison to the green line. Next, we're going to change our value of R to a 1K ohm resistor and rerun the same circuit. And using the same nodes, V surface and V distance, we'll be able to see that when shocks are too stiff, little energy is absorbed, judging by the red line again versus the green. And lastly, changing our R value to approximately 250 ohms and rerunning the circuit. This will allow us to show um, the energy without excessive bouncing. It minimizes the bouncing. Using the same nodes, we'll be able to see this effect with the red line recoiling but then stabilizing quite soon after that. The second part of this circuit, we're going to change out our pulse voltage source for the VPWL. This will allow us to use it and show the pothole simulation. As if a wheel is going over a pothole, you'll be able to see through our waveforms exactly how that works. Changing our values for T1 through T6 and V1 through V6 to simulate this. We'll input those variables. and changing the name to V pothole on the voltage source changing our value of the resistor to 300 ohms and the L and the C stay the same now the next step is to modify the simulation profile we want to run this to 2 seconds with a step size of 2 milliseconds click apply and OK. And now we're ready to run that circuit. And select the traces as V pothole versus V distance. And you'll be able to see the simulation as if a wheel hit a pothole. You'll be able to see the distance and the dampening to the shocks as if it was a real pothole that occurred. And that concludes chapter 14, Serious Resonance.